Holding that's brilliant, isn't it? So today, this is really, really tricky. Can we turn the mobile phone off in the back, please? Thank you. Um, so, really tricky topic today, which is enlargement with a negative scale factor and a centre as well. So this is as, as bad as it gets. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to need a ruler. Oh, cool. <laughs> right, here's the ruler. We've got the ruler. Um, so, uh, negative scale factors. First of all, what we've got to do, we've got to mark our centre. Now, our centre over here is marked as minus 2, 1. So we go along. Uh, minus 2 and 1. So this big blob here is going to be our centre. Now, for each of the points on the triangle, I'm going to mark them off one by one. And we're going to project them through that centre by a scale factor of minus 2. So all that means is the triangle is going to be twice as big on the other side of that dot. So to get to the dot, I'm going to look at the first corner. I'm going to go three along and two up, which shows three along there and two up, which means I've got to go four up, which is twice the two, and then six along out the other side, two, four, six, and that will lead me here. So this cross here, or this side here marked by a cross, is now going to be that side, or that point there, on the projected one. Let's deal with the next one. So I'm going to use, let's use a cross again. Let's be imaginative. Right. So I've got to go along. One, two, three, again. So three. And then I'm going to be going up. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going up five. So in other words, I've got to go up ten now. There's two fives of ten on the minus two. So one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I've got to then go across 6 because I went um, across 3 going into the dot. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which leaves me with the cross here. So now I've done 2 out of 3 of the sides now. Finally, I'm going to do the third side. So the third side, and if you've guessed it, I'll mark it with a cross. So how do I get to the dot first of all? I go one, two, three, four, five to the dot this time. So five to the dot. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, four up. So four up there. So that means I'm going to have to go eight. So that's going to be, I've got four there. Five, six, seven, eight. And to get across, I have to go five. So I've got to go ten across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so that's a third side of my projected triangle. So all I've got to do now is to join the three sides together. That will be the projected triangle. Then I'm going to show you a little piece of magic. And it's a good check to see if we've got 